All right, so when looking at our arm model, right, this is the anterior part of your hand, this is the anterior part of the scapula, this is the posterior side of the scapula, and so this is our deltoid, which sits lateral. It's this deltoid muscle that you see here. Now, if we look at this scapular region, you can see that here's our spine, and this is our supraspinatus. Down here, all the rest of these are considered infraspinatus. And then underneath, we have our teres minor and teres major. Now, when looking at the brachial region, we have our biceps brachii, we have our short head, and our long head. Together, it's called biceps brachii. And then we have our brachialis, which lies underneath these two. And at the very opposite end, at the posterior segment of the limb, you have your triceps brachii, which goes as, let me just double check it, it's going to be lateral, long, and medial head. That's why it's called triceps, because it has three. One, two, three. Again, that's medial, oh, sorry, pardon, medial, long, and lateral. Okay, now with that in mind, we go to our forearm region, and this forearm region will have a muscle called brachioradialis, which begins in that brachial region, but ends up going over that radius bone, and that's why it's called brachioradialis. Now for the rest of the forearm muscles, make sure you watch the next video.